Hello there, everyone. It is the Tommy Khan Bossing here, and today we are taking a look at the Inno 64 Mitch Subashi Petrol Evolution. Starting off with the front of the car, you can see that the headlights are quite detailed compared to other diecast cars in the price range. The front grills are done flawlessly and I love how red Mitsubishi logo stands out from the silver paint. The bodywork looks quite sharp as you can see on the fenders. It resembled the real car tremendously well. The hood scope though has the thin edges, they are clean to cut, but without some details on the hood, the fence is kind of disappointing. But once again, showing the uh, Inno 64 qualities and precision during the manufacturing process and telling me that this car is right here is worth many penny. For the wheels, they look great, especially in silver, which I think it gives the car a more elegant and grand looking with the silver body paint on the car ass. When you look at the car from the side, you can see those in your face rear spoilers that's shaped like sharp fins like this. Moving on to the back, you can see here we have a spare tire and some logos on the side, which the, in the exhaust pipe is right here. And the tail lights is well detailed as it is transparent red. For the disc of the car, it's basically the same side as the other side, so let's take a look at the top of the car, which I mentioned before, it is the in your face rear spoilers, which really does look like a shock fins, not gonna lie. It is for the aerodynamics, and yeah, that's actually it. But for one more interesting thing is that you can see that here we have another mirror. It should be for looking for this area because the car is too high, the driver's side seat is right here so he cannot like really see something in here so they put another mirrors in here so that's reasonable and yeah that is the car actually. Moving on but on the interior you can see surprisingly it has a purple interior seat. I don't know if it is like the real car or it's not but kind of stands out for the interior of the car which I didn't dislike it but not my type, not gonna lie, not my type for the purple interior. But yeah, that's actually it. And if you can see clearly, you can see the dials and uh, yeah, the interior of the car, the steering wheel and other stuff like that which is pretty detailed. Not gonna lie, I qu I'm quite satisfied about, about these cars. Inno 64 has done a great job these days compared to the damn tarmac which just doesn't do anything good. So, yeah, actually that is this for the video. Thank you guys for watching and yeah, I quite like this, I quite like this, but Jero is just sell for 125. It's shady, so, but it's okay, not gonna lie, I like it so much. So, see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye.